Alrighty, then what is going on everybody? It's your boy Sonny here bringing you guys another Neverwinter video, guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be starting up a series of top five things in Neverwinter. Whether it be top five things to buy, you know, top five things not to do. Just a bunch of different top five subjects in the game. Just to help those who are in need of assistance, maybe, and don't know exactly what to buy or what to do in some situations. So I'm here to set a little bit of light on the situation. Now, this list... Um, is a little bit interchangeable, you know, not everybody's going to agree 100% with this list that I have put together, but I feel it is something that is a little bit important, you know, some of these things you might value more than the other, without further ado, let's jump straight into it, so coming in at number 5 guys, we're going to come all the way down here to the service department, and that is going to be extra bank space guys, whether it be shared bank account or your own personal bank account on that character that you're running. This is not, this is something for people who love to hoard things, who love to keep things and save it for a specific time to make the most value out of the thing or the item I should say or the amount or companion, whatever it may be. Um, you're going to need bank space because you're going to run out of personal space and some things are bound to your character. Um, you know, if you're a person who loves changing artifacts, you're going to need the space. If you're a person who loves to keep things in their bank because they just run out of space in their bags, then you're going to need these two things, guys. This one is um, more expensive than this one, but at the same time, this is shared, which is still good. You know, I like to buy at least two to three of these, and probably whoever my main is at the time, I'll buy like two or three of these. That's usually plenty enough to get me going. Alright guys, so that is coming in at the number 5 spot. Either the shared bank slot and the personal bank slot. I'll put them two together, that's what I'm going to do. Coming in at number 4 guys, we're going to come all the way up here to the keys department. We are not talking about the enchanted keys. We are talking about the legendary dragon keys that you're going to need if you want to do any major farming. Whether it be MSVA, FBI, if you really want to, you can open the CN chest and the lost mouth chest. Um, I wouldn't recommend, I really don't recommend opening up the shores. Um, Tiamat is also a good example. Demo is a really good example. You're going to need these keys, guys, to farm those dungeons because you can only make one key pretty much a day. And the keys that you make um, through the campaign are bound to that character. So it's not like you can even make multiple keys on multiple characters and then just transfer them. So you're going to need these legendary dragon keys if you want to do any serious farming for rings and gears and stuff like that, guys. So you're going to want to grab these keys. Um, majority of the time when they go on sale, I stack up on these. You run out of these hella quickly without even realizing it, guys. So definitely coming in at the number four spot. Next, we got the number three spot, which is none other than mounts, guys. I put this on here just for the sheer fact is every person you create, whether it be, you know, four characters, five, you know, ten, fifty characters, it doesn't matter. They will all start the game with an epic mount, guys. And I pick a mount that either has good stats like power crit or a good insignia bonus like protectors camaraderie um, wanderers fortune stuff like that i prefer wanderers fortune the most which is the polar bear um that's the one i have it's not going to be here because i actually got him but that would be the polar bear guys i actually have a couple that i brought just for the sheer fact is i have the dust unicorn the leopard and the ours polar bear so i have three zen market mounts guys and they come in handy because i do have quite a bit of characters that i do play on and do a little bit with so just having the epic mount and the wanderer's fortune bonus to get that easy refinement without even have to put in any enchantments on them is just amazing Coming in at the number two spot, guys, this was a little bit of a tough one because there's just so many things in the Zen market. But, guys, you're going to need this. It doesn't matter who you are. You cannot disagree with this one. And that is Preservation Wars and Coalescent War, guys. You're going to need these. You're going to need them. You're just going to. You want to do any type of upgrading, any anything related to upgrading-wise, whether it be your main hand, offhand, um, enchantments, you're going to need to upgrade them. Because of the fact is, you're not going to want to use the materials required every time. You know, when you're making 11 to a 12, you're not going to use, you're going to use preservation. How many you're going to, um, percent, 3%, percent, uh, 5%, percent, 10 so it just depends how good your RNG is. I've seen people get, with one preservation war, like 3 rank 12s. I'm just like, wow, it takes me, like, stacks of 10 just to make some rank 10s to 11s sometimes or just upgrade my artifact. So it's just all RNG base related. I see a lot of people switching instances, going to places, but for me, it really doesn't matter where the hell I go. It just doesn't want to upgrade. Um, after a while, 
you know, I switch things. If it doesn't want to proc, you know, move on to something else. Don't force the upgrade, in my opinion, because, you know, sometimes I went through, like, 30 preservation wards. This is that last double RP on making a 10 to an 11, and I should have probably made something else and then came back to it, and I probably would have had a better chance. Coalescent wards, on the other hand, are a guaranteed success rate. Now, they are a lot more expensive, so you figure you can get 100 preservation wards for one co ward, and that's how I figure it out. Um... You know, I, I can't say you guarantee to get that 1% on one preservation war, but majority of the time you will never use 100 preservation wars to upgrade anything over 1%. Um, if you do, then you just have some really terrible luck. Even I'm not that bad with it. But coalescent wards are something that you use if you want to make transcendence. Um, you know, perfect and up usually. That's what I usually do. Because if you're just going to use them for everything from lesser to greater to perfect to pure and then transcendent, guys, that's 5,000 Zen <coughs> plus that you're going to need. I mean, you could get these from the Vault of Petty, but like I said, it's only a chance. Um, you know, it's all RNG based, really, so you never know what exactly you will get. Um, on to the number one spot, guys. This thing is a must-have for any new player, any player that's been playing a while. You gotta have this, guys. Hands down, number one is none other than VIP, guys. This thing is just pure gold, amazing. It's just one of the most must-haves throughout the game of Neverwinter, guys. If you're looking to buy something with Zen and you don't have it, make sure to snatch this up. If you're a constant player, you play every day. Or even if you don't play every day, this will make you play every day because of the benefits that it gives you. I'm going to show you guys the benefits real quick. I've been ranked 12 for a minute now. So let me just show you the VIP benefits. Here you got 12 stages, um, 12 months. And it's just ridiculous. Some of the they give you. Um, I'm just going to scan quickly. Um, if you want to, to the VIP benefits. And you can read them all for yourself. And to access them right here, guys, the VIP benefits. These are all the things you can get. Teleport to the Moonstone Mask. That's all right. Pulling out a travel signpost is amazing. Pulling out that mailbox to get that money anywhere or mail something is amazing. The port, um, the bank, amazing. Profession vendor, um, if you're a collector of items that you drop, you can pull out this lady and sell the shit right to her without even going to the, uh, a specific vendor. And the anvil, guys, this is amazing because when you drop this anvil, you get an increase in salvage, all right? So just the benefits alone are just so great. You also get, with VAP, Every day, one free and chi, and you know an epic dungeon key, which is used for the left chest majority of the time in a dungeon. Besides the exception of which dungeon is it? Um, Valinger's Valinger's is on the right, and the epic, um, the legendary is on the left for some reason. That's a little weird. I wonder why they did that for. So besides Valinger's, usually the right chest, no, the left chest, sorry, is the one that you use with this uh, epic dungeon key. Number two. Um, you know, you get extra XP, um, for professions yourself. So if you're leveling up a character, you know, that extra little boost is a bonus right there. You know, there's just so many things that are just amazing. The power of VIP, 2,000 hit points if you are greater than level 64, um, to every member of your group. So if you got five members running VIP, that's 10,000 extra HP that you got. Which is pretty cool, you know. It's just like little things like that that make a difference. And, you know, it's just one of those things. No longer need to be at a campfire to invoke. So you can just be in the middle fighting and invoke real quick. Which is pretty cool, you know. If you're in a dungeon, you know, invoking is pretty cool, you know. And it's important. And I just like to get it done. You don't have to go to the enclave and stand at one of them, uh, you know, the altars. And pray. You can just pray where you want, which is... Um, I wish they would come out with a couple more benefits. Reduce the price of gold to remove enchantments. This is another big thing, guys. The Wondrous Bazaar costs a reduced price. This is pretty good when it comes to buying greater marks, superior marks. Because sometimes you can get the Wondrous Bazaar for cheaper than the Trade House. Now, some things. As you can see, cubes are more expensive here. Uh, I'm not sure the prices of the greater marks they have dropped because of that freaking 50% off sale. So, but usually I'll buy my marks from here just for the sheer fact is they're a lot cheaper in here. That's how people make some money sometimes. They'll buy them here and sell them for a little bit extra. It may be much, but if you buy a bunch and sell a bunch, you're going to see the difference. Um, the gear is pretty shit. Also, another thing that's pretty cool is, um, where is it? They don't have it no more? Yeah, they don't have it no more. I got rid of. They used to have a book in here for like, oh, there it is. One go. It's it's a pretty cool book. 
Um, I don't know how much it is without the VIP. I think it's just one goal because there's no... You know, I mean, there's some things that you don't want to buy through VIP. Uh, the Wondrous Bars are. So don't buy everything out of here because you could sometimes um, get things a lot cheaper. When a new lockbox drops and you want to be the first to open it, check out the Wondrous Bazaar. We get them for 150 compared to maybe the market price where they're selling for above that when the lockbox first drops and people are just scramming to open them. Um, another really cool thing is, you know, there's just so much with VIP. I can go on and on. So I'm just going to stop the video here. Let me know what you guys think of this type of video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Comment down below what you want me to do next. Let me know. Do you agree with this list? Do you not agree with this list? Switch something. Um, there's just so many things in the Zen market, though. But I didn't want to jam it down your throat kind of thing. I just wanted to pick the kind of... Um, you know, things from each different section that I feel are really important and that you just need to get eventually within the game. VIP being those things that once you start up, boom, you should get it. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's out.